All right. How many of you have ever prayed? Yes. Well, how many know off the top of your head what Psalms 139, 23, and 24 is? No, that's okay. I wouldn't know either. <laughs> it is, search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. And it's that search me and point out anything that offends you part that's scary, right? No, nobody knows that verse by heart because <laughs> they don't want to have to pray it. <laughs> Uh, well, how many of you guys did that Freedom Series? Yeah. Yeah, it was awesome, right? It was awesome. It was, like, horrible and awesome at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and during the Freedom Series, I really prayed that prayer because, like, it was a long series. It was a really in-depth book, and I thought, well, if I'm going to do it, might as well do it, right? Yeah. And I wanted to see growth in my life. So I prayed that prayer, and I had some regrets at first. <laughs> but during that series, the Holy Spirit was, like, really, really digging into my heart. And I knew I, you know, struggled with some things. We all do. We're all human. But it was, like, a spiritual awakening to the things that I struggle with. <laughs> and just for example's sake, one of the things was anger. Like, have you ever been... Ladies in here, young moms, you got all the kids running around, and like Danner's favorite pastime right now is finding any cup or water bottle or anything that has liquid in it and just dumping it on the carpet. And it, that really shouldn't incite rage in me, but it does. <laughs> so, I, thank you. <laughs> but I always thought like being easily upset and having like anger issues was just like, I'm just a stressed out mom. Like, it's just normal. And the Holy Spirit was like, no, it's not. And that was kind of hard to hear. Um, but the Holy Spirit showed me that that anger was a fruit that was produced from an ugly seed that I let go unchecked. And there's always something deeper. So we all have that thing that we struggle with, whether it's a character flaw or a sin or something. But it's not just that it comes from something deeper there's always a spiritual root to everything and it could either be something lovely from the holy spirit you know love joy hope peace all that or it could be something ugly that the enemy planted that you just like go under the radar and i had let some ugly seeds take root now the goal is to dig them out before it produces a fruit but sometimes we miss it um and i just want to add that if you've missed it god's not upset with you you know, he loves you, and he's eagerly waiting for you to come to him. Um, but what do you do when you see some unlovely fruit pop up in your daily life? Like yelling at your toddler for dumping water on the carpet. <laughs> you have to identify the seed that produced the fruit. And, like, for me, personally, you know, everybody's different. Uh, the, the anger, getting upset very easily... Um, I know, because the Holy Spirit showed me, that it is rooted in anxiety. Maybe I'm feeling anxious about something, and I'm not taking that to the Lord. Or maybe there's a hurt that I'm letting fester with, you know, offense and unforgiveness. And so, because now I'm aware of it, when I have an outburst or I feel angry or upset, I can do that inner research of, okay, well, what am I feeling on the inside? What's going on in my mind that's making me anxious? or is reminding me of an offense that I can take care of, and then I'm not seeing that fruit of anger anymore. Um, so taking care of that in your mind. And then I also have scriptures written on note cards that I keep in my Bible, and I post them on my refrigerator. And if you've ever been to my house, you've probably seen <laughs> scripture in the hallways and the doorways and the refrigerator and the bathroom. Um, because that's just how it is. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's all right. <laughs> but you have to apply God's scripture on your issues, just like you would take medicine every day if you weren't feeling well. Yeah. And we can't just keep being Christians that are like, oh, yeah, I deal with this. It's not a big deal, or it's just a character flaw, or I'm just praying about it, because that's not really doing a whole lot for you if you're not, like, actually actively participating 
and reversing it. Uh, we, we have these ugly seeds hanging out in our heart and they're taking root and they're creating shackles in your life. And we need the Holy Spirit to revive our hearts, but we've got to do some digging and replanting first. And when you do that, God's going to make that revival and that growth evident in your life. When I realized what was happening in my own personal life and was like, okay, I'm going to gain ground instead of getting stuck. Gosh, we could have coffee. I'm not going to, I don't have time. <laughs> but we could have coffee and I could tell you all the amazing things that have happened in the last however many months in all areas of both of our lives just from deciding we're not holding on to offense. I'm not going to hold on to anxious thoughts and putting scripture that's the opposite of anger in my heart. <clears throat> you're going to begin to see new fruit and God is going to honor your obedience to his word and you're just going to be like wowed. But revival happens when we allow God to move in our hearts and we can break those shackles off. You don't have to live with feeling angry or upset all the time. You don't have to live with any of that stuff. And if you're dealing with something like that, or if you feel like stagnant in your walk with God and in your growth and you don't know why, I just want to encourage you to pray that prayer um, from Psalms 139. And not only pray that prayer, but be ready to do the work, to undig the ugly seeds and to replant God's word. Because God wants to revive our hearts. That's where revival starts after all, right? <laughs>